I look around my beautiful garden on a glorious day. I am blessed with an excellent gardener and I see the work of the Lord in everything. Every magnificent tree, every bright flower, every blade of grass, every busy bird, the fluttering delicacy of the butterflies, every tiny insect, the perfectly formed newts in the pond with their delicate fingers splayed, and the fox that leaves its pungent odour after its nighttime drink. Everything is in perfect harmony because through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. Which is John 1 verse 3. When he, why then has he made this dreadful virus? Across the world there's a huge amount of grief, people mourning for family and friends, unable to even hold a hand while they slip away. People struggling financially, businesses that have been toiled over and nurtured, just disintegrating. People living in fear, hungry people who cannot afford to panic buy or even to shop for a week. Some of them are very close but unseen. Romans 8 verse 28 tells us, And we know that in all things God works for good for those who love him, who have been according, called according to his purpose. It's great that computers, tablets and smartphones have revolutionised our lives. My dear husband Alex even has a mini computer embedded under his skin, regulating his heartbeat. I remember doing a computer course at school when I was 15. We were taught about how precise we needed to be with the punch card instructions and were taken to see a massive computer that filled a whole room, undoubtedly considerably less powerful than Alex's pacemaker. When I was 15 we were told that computers would revolutionise our lives and we would all have much more leisure time. Sadly, that isn't how it's happened. As an accountant my life has become busier and busier. I'm sure that's true for most working people. Demands are just so much greater and everything has to be done electronically and if you can't you get fined. Even our care workers are obliged to spend a huge amount of time at their computers filling out forms. I remember one occasion waiting with Alex in the medical assessment unit and all the doctors and nurses were glued to their computers while one care worker rushed around delivering and emptying bedpans and doing all the things that needed to be done. I believe that God is wanting us to slow down, to watch the leaves unfurling, the flowers opening, listening to the birds singing, and reconnect with his wonderful world. Job 12 verses 7 to 10 tells us, But ask the animals, and they will teach you, or the birds in the sky, and they will tell you, or speak to the earth, and it will teach you, or let the fish from the sea inform you. Which of all these does not know the hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand is the life of every creature and the breath of all mankind. Not everyone has a beautiful garden like mine. When I was a child we lived above my father's shop and we just had a very small yard. My neighbours across the road live over the shops in Purbrook and one of them just has enough space for a paddling pool for their children. But however little space we have we all can all create something beautiful. Jeanette says that she will do some dressmaking during her week off. I've created a miniature garden. I don't know if you can see it there. The junior church kids all used to like my craft activities because I gave them ideas and then they created something better than mine. Not difficult. Anyone can have a go at this. You just need an old food container or a flower pot a few twigs and stones, some flowers, maybe wildflowers, in imagination. Happy gardening. God bless.